I was just wondering if um, possibly we, we um, would like... Add revenue. Is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? No, no. It's just thanks to this terrible plague sweeping the country, us peasants are dropping like flies. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be going over a few things. I will of course be trying to explain how advert revenue works on YouTube from the point of view of a content creator. I'll also be talking about my journey and experience so far in creating this channel. And then I'm also going to talk about where I want to go with this channel and what my plans are for the future. So consider this something of a state of the nation address. First, before going any further, I'm just going to simply answer the question, how much money did my channel make in its first 28 days monetized? Some of you have probably come here for that, so I'm just gonna start by answering that before we get into anything else. So, the channel made $754.51 in its first 28 days monetized. That was my cut of the advert revenue from the adverts YouTube showed on the content on my channel. But what's going on? Why am I making this video? Well, I'm making this video because I've been able to see behind the curtain very, very recently. And I really wanted to share that with, with you all. So I really had no idea about any of this before I started this channel. So I started this channel right at the end of January. Um, and, and why did I do that and what happened? Well, uh, a friend of mine, we were playing regular multiplayer games of Stellaris uh, amongst a group of friends actually and uh, one of them came to me after a game and was asking me well I don't quite understand what's going wrong I'm or he was saying that he was playing he thought he was playing quite well and and he couldn't understand why his empire was doing so uh, poorly relative to an empire that I was playing so I did a screen share with him and I kind of talked him through the first five to ten years in game this was like at two in the morning um and he, after that he was like well this is really helpful you've had some really good advice you know you should go out and you should make this into a video and put it on youtube and initially i was like well i don't think i'll do that that you know that that sounds a bit crazy i'm not sure that anyone would be interested in that kind of thing but I, I made a video, I sent it to my friend to, to look at, and he was like, well, th this seems good. I, you know, it's something I would watch. So, so I started making a video series. And that was actually my, my first video series on here, which was the um, Let's Play Guide for 2.8 that I did. And from there, I've kind of I've got more views. I've had more uh, subscribers, and it's been a really fun and interesting process to build this channel. And then once I got to a thousand subscribers, YouTube offered me the opportunity to join their uh, YouTube partner program, which is the point at which they will start paying you for ads on your content. Before that, sometimes there are ads on your content, sometimes there aren't, you don't have any control really over it. But after that point, uh, YouTube will pay you for the ability to advertise on your content. But what do I wanna do with this advert revenue? Well. I have been very lucky during uh, 2020 and 2021, during the coronavirus pandemic, I've been able to shift from working, uh, working in the office to working remotely. So I've been able to work from home and I've also been lucky that the company I work for hasn't collapsed, gone under, had to lay off a load of employees or anything like that. So I still have a full-time income and that means that I've got this extra money and what, well, what do I want to do with it? I'd really like to be able to put it back into this channel, into making things better. At the moment, the only equipment I've got, I have a microphone that I bought uh, I bought online. I've got a, a blue snowball ice, something like that, I think, which was around 50 euros um, that I bought just before I started because I realized quite quickly, um, the friend that actually uh, convinced me to start my channel uh, he was very keen and insistent that audio quality is really, really important to ensure that videos are both engaging and watchable on YouTube. So that meant that I initially went, right, okay, I should buy a good microphone. So I did that. The only other piece of, of equipment I have is a microphone stand with a pop filter, which I got about a month ago, thanks to the generous support of some patrons I have on Patreon. But otherwise, I'm doing this all on a four-year-old laptop uh, from 2017. 
crikey, and I am also doing everything with open source software. So there is massive room for improvement. I would really like to be able to get a proper uh, PC with a proper graphics card, because part, part of my issue at the moment is I'm having to do a lot of stuff through a service called NVIDIA Now, which actually is it's really cool. I'm not, there's not a paid sponsorship or anything like that, but I would really recommend it. It's, uh, it's a, you have the ability to basically play games on the cloud. So they have a cloud setup and you can play games that you would otherwise find challenging to play on your local setup. You play them remotely and then they stream the video to your computer, allowing you to interact with it. Uh, that's something I use a lot. Sometimes I use just my regular potato laptop, but that's partly why I've got some quite bad frame rates. I definitely have not got any capability to do something like streaming at the moment, and I would really love to be able to do something like a video stream. That would be really fun and awesome. But in order to do these things, I need to have better computing resources. So my plan is to take this advert revenue and funnel it straight back into things that I can use to improve this channel so I can get better videos out there and I can get different styles of content as well, like the streaming that I just mentioned. But how does it really work? How does the revenue generation work? So with advertising revenue, the way it works is YouTube auctions adverts to be featured on videos on a content creator's channel, for instance, my channel, and advertisers can bid to place their videos on specific types of content. So they're not specifically bidding on a single video on my channel. That would be crazy given the number of videos there are out there on YouTube. But they are bidding on a type of video with a key audience demographic or something like that, or possibly a watch time of a specific amount in a specific genre or area. And that then affects something called the CPM. CPM is the cost per thousand impression. So that is the metric that represents how much money advertisers spend to show ads on YouTube. Now, CPM is based on 1000 views or impressions, but when a video gets a thousand views, not all of those views will necessarily have shown adverts to the viewer. People can sometimes have ad block on, they can there can be many reasons. For instance, they haven't watched the video the whole way through, so weren't able to see all of the adverts. And that means that there is a different metric to represent how much money the content creator actually gets. And something to mention first is that CPM, that for my channel was around $10 for the first month monetized, the first 28 days. That isn't the amount that YouTube are paying to the content creators. They keep 45% and they give 55% to the content creators. But there's another metric we have to look at and that is RPM and that's revenue per mil or that is revenue per thousand monetized views or playbacks. What does that mean? Well, that is the amount of money that the advertiser has paid YouTube and then what your cut as a content creator is per thousand views on the video. So my RPM was around $3.94 on average for the first 28 days monetized, which means that I was getting paid around $4 per thousand views. And as you can see, that's quite a bit less than the $10 YouTube is charging. And let's not talk about tax. As a Danish tax resident, I'm gonna to have to pay 37%, well, I have paid 37% tax on everything that I've earned there. So how does CPM differ from channel to channel? Well, as far as I know, the length of a video can be quite important to CPM. I'm in touch with some other content creators who make Stellaris YouTube videos, and they have adverts on some of their channel, and their CPM can be different to mine because my videos tend to be slightly longer in the 15 to 20 minute range, which brings with it slightly higher ad revenue. Now, in addition to that, the what your video is actually about really affects the CPM that the advertisers are paying. So if you're making videos on something like uh, financial advice, financial management, advertisers are willing to pay quite a bit more than if you're making videos on something like video games. What does this mean for content creators? Well, I would suspect that most small to medium sized channels uh, 
the revenue generated from adverts is nowhere is, is you know is, it's not going to cover the living expenses and working expenses for a single person so i imagine that most content creators use other means to generate revenue be that something like patreon or sponsorship things like that featuring uh, merchandise you know all, all sorts of different ways that as far as i know other content creators can increase their income to be able to support themselves and support the content that they are putting out and something else to note here is that the advertising revenue that a channel generates is really really directly correlated to the views that channel is getting so that would make it I imagine very very cutthroat if you are relying on YouTube advert revenue to live if one month your viewership goes down your audience aren't so interested in your videos that's going to have a really really big impact on your income for that month now I realize this video hasn't been about my usual topic, which is Stellaris, and I apologize if you've not been interested by it, but this is actually something I thought was quite important to do. I really wanted to kind of communicate with you guys, the community that I'm starting to build here on YouTube, and let them know what's been going on and kind of where I want to go in the future with this channel. It's definitely very early days. I've been running for around five months now, uh, just under five months even sorry four and a half months given I started I think it was the 28th of January but you know um, I've had some good growth I've had some fantastic feedback it's been really awesome getting such great feedback and interest from everyone out there in the Stellaris community I know there's a big bunch of us um, that enjoy playing the game in various different ways there's the role play perspective there's the single player there's the multiplayer there's, there's, there's a real whole host of stuff and I hope to be able to continue giving you guys content that you enjoy and find useful and relevant into the future. I don't know if you like this video, kind of a, a state of the nation address, so to speak, <laughs> but you know, if you have enjoyed it, give me some feedback, let me know. If, if, if people didn't enjoy this video, I won't make another one like it again. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you've got any feedback for me, leave a comment. And if you'd like to see more content from this channel, please subscribe. In addition, there's a link to Patreon down below in the description if you'd like to support this channel.